Warning, some of the following video may be satirical. Any scenes that were made to be humorous will be marked with this disclaimer. Other imagery such as the Tesla Cybertruck will also be used to lighten the mood a bit. All information that is not marked with the disclaimer is correct. All depictions of people in this video are either replaced by fictional characters or drawn by me. This is due to the fact that I don't want to show very much disturbing imagery. November 22, 1963, the day 35th U.S. President John F. Kennedy was shot and killed. JFK, his wife, Jackie, the governor of Texas, and his wife were parading around in a car in Dallas, Texas. They were doing this for the re-election campaign for JFK. Lee Harvey Oswald, a communist sympathizer, had gone to the sixth floor of the school Texas Book Depository. When he arrived, he took out a Carcano rifle and took aim at his target. Three shots rang out at 12.30 p.m. One struck JFK in the back of the neck, and the last shot hit him in the head and killed him. Lee Harvey Oswald was later shot during a press conference. Many theories about who was actually behind the assassination have been thrown around, some of which include the Organized Crime Syndicate, the KGB, the CIA, the successor of JFK, Lyndon B. Johnson, and some guy with an umbrella. The umbrella shot bullets or something, I don't know. Don't do drugs, kids. The thing that ties the CIA with the Umbrella Man is the term used during the Bay of Pigs invasion. Hey, can you provide an umbrella of air support for us? No. According to a few US citizens, this evidence incriminates the following people. The CIA? But with all seriousness, a lot of work went into trying to prove that there was multiple shooters, but it was seen as insufficient evidence. Many people actually believe that 36 US president Lyndon B. Johnson was actually behind the plot to assassinate JFK. This is due to the fact that Johnson and Kennedy had many disagreements leading up to the day that Kennedy was assassinated. One of the strongest pieces of evidence is the photograph titled The Wink, which pictures Johnson being sworn in and winking at a congressman. Pictured on his right is Jackie Kennedy, still covered in her husband's blood. These are just theories, so maybe we will never truly know what happened that day.